I can't imagine that. I drink coffee throughout the day. It's like water to me. For many years, coffee has been one of the most highly consumed beverages in the entire world. And this hectic scene is what any average American can expect when walking by a coffee shop any given weekday morning. But let us stop the chaos for the time being and explore in depth the reach and results of this increased coffee consumption. According to a Harvard University study, over 100 million Americans drink coffee daily at an average of three cups per day. Yearly, the United States public spends $40 billion on coffee each year. With these staggering numbers, it's hard to argue that this beverage is not one of the nation's favorites. There isn't a specific time of day where I drink coffee. I usually, um, whenever it's available, or whenever I'm feeling myself getting down a little bit. I mean, I guess typically those are the mornings and the afternoons, but yeah. It used to be for the energy, but now it just keeps the headaches away. I'm like dependent on caffeine. Well, I think, you know, caffeine has really become uh, part of the culture for n not only college students, but for working adults, uh, you know, in throughout the whole country. College students in particular, though, um, seek out caffeine essentially for the benefits that come from drinking caffeine. You know, drinking coffee or, or, or consuming caffeine. According to healthresearchfunding.org, the United States is the country with the highest amount of caffeine consumption, 971 tons of it. 70% of those tons are consumed through coffee. Small whole milk latte. However, it is important for consumers of caffeine to understand the health possibilities that excessive caffeine consumption can carry. When you say the term side effect, I think what you're talking about are the, um, the, the negative sides or the risks that, coming, that come from consuming caffeine. Um, the, some of the big things are that it can interrupt sleep, and, and when sleep is interrupted, many other problems can come about. For example, depression. Um, the short-term risks that go with consuming caffeine our interrupted restorative sleep that everybody needs. Um, it can give you things like nausea, uh, reflux, um, headaches, um, irritability, uh, those kinds of things. Caffeine does have its place in society, however, and with the right amount of moderation and responsibility, everyone in America can eventually be caffeinated.